looking very red this is spotlight above me good morning everyone welcome back to another video anyone notice my background has changed because i've actually switched my desks over well, not, not desks my desk over um literally just to the other side of the room i needed a change let me tell you the last two weeks honestly my I don't know, my energy, my motivation, my just everything. I have felt so off, like so flat. It's really weird, like, and I don't know if anyone else can relate on this, but it's like my brain and my body weren't connecting as well. It was like, I was getting lots of like creative ideas, thinking, oh, it'd be a really good idea maybe to do, you know, X, Y, and Z on Insta or this on YouTube or like do this with my clinic, blah, blah, blah. But then when the day came, like my body was like, no like literally every inch of my being was just so unmotivated and it was very very strange um so i just could, literally couldn't figure out why this started out of the blue and not to say that this is the total answer but something that definitely helped was switching up my workspace um so yeah just moved my desk literally to the other side of the room set up a new little setup here um, and yeah, it really has refreshed me and I feel much more creative. I think that was the thing I was struggling with actually, is I felt like a lack of creativity as well. Even though I'm saying you know, I had some ideas, I did, but like compared to normal, it just things were just flat. Also, someday I'm actually traveling over to South of France to visit my mum for three weeks, which I'm so pumped for. I'm literally clutching on to every little last bit of summer that I can. Everyone's chucking autumn on my social media feeds and I'm like, no, I just wanna keep the sun. Another thing to touch on actually is like keeping it real. I put the lights on in this room just while I was filming that clip, but just to keep it real, I'm gonna go turn those off now because electricity prices in the UK, oh, don't even get me started. It is absolutely devastating, honestly, like I'm, I, I, there's just no words really to really fathom how much this is really going to impact people. Um, it's definitely going to impact me and Rob 100%. We're like being so, so careful on our electricity. So I'm going to go turn that switch off while we're feeding. Um, if you're like completely unsure what I'm talking about, by the way, if you don't live in the UK and you haven't heard, basically our electricity prices have gone up by, no, I'm about to say 50, I wish, because it's gone up by 80. 80% like wrap your head around that how much you pay per month and let's ramp that up by 80 percent like it is a crazy increase across households now in the kitchen one of the appliances you use a lot obviously for electricity is the kettle and the kettle is actually up there it's quite an expensive appliance to keep on using so what i've been doing is whenever i do have to boil a kettle i boil a full kettle and then whatever's left in the kettle i put in this flask and this literally keeps it hot honestly for like 24 hours i mean i use it before then but honestly like like this bottle for example i filled the kettle up last night and um, so i filled this up and this morning it is still piping hot and i use that for my tea for for anything i needed hot water for so little tips like that can really help to save you from keep boiling your kettle let me know if the if you're worried about the electricity crisis um and prices going up and if you would like a video or maybe some little tips and things that I'm doing to help cut back on costs. Okay guys I've just got to the gym I'm hoping it's not focused on the steering wheel and it is actually focused on me um yeah I've just got to the gym I've got a bar class this morning um I can't remember if I've spoken about this before in other vlogs but I'm obsessed with bar pilates oh my god it's like my new favorite thing like I've literally been a bit like screw the gym i've just been like all four bar pilates at the moment my teacher's so good like honestly within 10 minutes i am i look like i've just had a shower i'm so so sweaty which is a really gross image but it is great i absolutely love it it is a little bit later bar this morning was amazing it was such a sweat sweat sesh so so good anyway i came back and actually have been working today but just it's not been interesting to vlog but i did just nip out and get a quick little food shop um for the rest of the week before i go away on sunday so i thought let's unpack and i'll show you guys what i picked up in my food shop today um first thing here is not food i've got two packets of nature cure 
just organic tampons. Natura Care are my favourite brand. They are organic cotton tampons. And yeah, in terms of like the chemicals and things that go into tampons, these are free from. So these are a really, really good option. We've got a pack of six organic eggs, some chickpeas. We also got some red kidney beans. Oh, my favourite yoghurt ever, which is the Nush um, almond yoghurt. I've got the strawberry. A tub of extra virgin olive oil hummus. Some herbs. Herbs are so good to use in cooking. They are so, so nutrient dense. They're actually some of the most nutrient dense foods that we can eat, actually. Um, so I picked up some rosemary and thyme because I've been really, really enjoying that with chicken dishes recently. Some cucumbers, a cauliflower, a bag of carrots, some potatoes. One of my favorite carbs of all time. I got some sliced turkey breast. For my proteins for the week, we have got some chicken. I'm actually at the moment buying just the regular chicken from Waitrose because, oh, again, talking kind of in theme with the whole electricity thing this morning, just prices in the moment in general are just insane. Like organic chicken prices have also shot up. Um, but just a little fact, and I think it was, I think one of you guys might have written it in a comment on one of my videos, I, I'm not really too sure, but Waitrose have one of the best um, like regular chicken chickens I don't know how to really how to say that um but yeah in terms of like the quality of life they live apparently out of all the supermarkets if you you know you can't buy organic they actually have the best one so yeah I just got a pack of the regular chicken breast from them this is something I've been so into recently but I got this fish pie mix I have been obsessed with this fish pie recipe that I literally just created randomly and it just tastes amazing um, maybe one day i'll like share it in a vlog and then i also got a pack of organic salmon and this was such a win because already the organic salmon was reduced so it's only six pound for a pack which is very similar to just regular salmon like about maybe one pound fifty difference but um, this pack in particular was actually discounted and I chucked this in the freezer anyway. So I actually picked this up for a fiver. Amazing. That is literally everything. So it's quite a small little food shop. I do also have some other things already in the freezer, like some other proteins I'll be having this week. So I've got a bolognese that I made um, last week, which I've got the second batch in the freezer to eat. And I've still got some like veggies left over. So yeah, I'm pretty well set. And then also, you know, any kind of carbs, I've already got like my quinoa and any like thing like that and um, pastas and stuff like that. I'm all set. So yeah, that's my little food shop for this week. Really not the best lighting for the windows behind me, but I've just made myself, I don't even know if you could call this lunch. It's kind of like, Lina. Okay, so I have just made myself this most amazing creamy chicken like mushroom, like you could turn it into a pasta, you could use it as a pie filling, it's such a good recipe. Today I prepped it with some uh, red lentil pasta. And let me know if you want the recipe and like, I wanna try and maybe post it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, go ahead over there. Let's give it a bite because I am very, very excited. That is so good. See, healthy food and healthy eating is bloody delicious. <laughs> hey guys, you're a little bit lopsided there on my dashboard of my car. Ooh. Let's not rock the car. So it's the next day. I'm actually currently sat at a train station waiting to pick my dad up. Um, we are gonna go for a quick coffee. He's actually come down for work. He hasn't come down just for a coffee. <laughs> um, his work is uh, where I live, um, but he lives in London. He gets a train down here. Um, but anyway, he's going into work and we're gonna meet for a quick coffee. So last time I'm gonna see him for the next three weeks. Um, I see my dad quite frequently. So yeah, we're having a last little catch up before I head off um, to visit my mum. Oh, speak of the devil, he's here. So, speak it a bit. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were talking to someone else. Eh? Oh, my God. Hey, guys, I've been back actually for quite a while. I've actually been smashing it through my work today. I've been really on top of all my clinic work, and yeah, I've managed to smash through a few other tasks today. So, yeah, I'm feeling very, very good right now. But anyway, I want to have a quick little break. I'm going to make myself a little afternoon smoothie. Surprise, surprise. Um, no, the reason I actually want to make a smoothie is because when I was in the cafe with my dad um, this morning, I noticed on another table, someone had ordered this strawberry smoothie and it just looks so good and like so creamy. And like ever since I'm like, oh, I really want like a creamy strawberry smoothie. So that's what we're gonna try and go for. I'm gonna chuck the milk in. Wow, that milk nearly went over the edge. Did you see that? Right, let's add our strawberries. Everything frozen. 
new favourite hack. This isn't really a hack, so I'm sure everyone knows about it. But in case you don't know, you can freeze avocado, um, and that's what I've been doing. So sometimes, like if I see, and it's such a good little tip for saving a bit of money, because sometimes if I see discounted avocados in the shop, obviously if you buy them discounted, they're not going to last you for the whole week. But what I do is I buy them, and then I cut them up, and then I freeze them. Genius, I know, and they're perfect for smoothies. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a good whack just to separate them. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna call myself out here um, because I've just been editing a video I filmed about xenoestrogens, which are basically natural synthetic substances which can mimic estrogen. They're found a lot in external things like um, plastic being one of them, um, or like pesticides in lots of places, and that you can watch the video come on my main channel to learn more about it. And I need to call myself out because I should not. This is a very, this is a very, very bad example actually because you have to go watch the video. But I talk about how it's so bad um, storing fatty foods in plastic because fatty foods will absorb more of the exanations. So do you know what? We're going to actually sort that out in a second, and I'm going to be better, and we're going to put this into a glass container because that is terrible ebony. Right, we're going to put that in there. I'm going to add in some oats just because I'm a little bit hungry. Um, and I just really like the texture that they add in. It's like a creamy smoothie. Oh, I've got a new bag of protein powders today. Bloody hell, they don't make it easy. Okay. It's like my favourite mug. It's literally all I ever use. Let me know if anyone else has that. Like, <laughs> do you have like a cupboard full of mugs, but it's like you only use the same one every single day? Because <laughs> that is me. Oh, yeah. It looks like um, Teddy Tubby food. Mm. Hey guys, I just nipped out to go pick up a package. For anyone who follows this channel because may have come from my Dyson videos, still love my Dyson. Like I use the strengthening attachment all the time. I absolutely love that. I use also the hair like dryer attachment. Now the curling attachments, I do still use them, but I don't reach for them that often because I mean, if you saw my video on this channel where I showed you like my method on how to get the curls to last, like, that is the only way I can get my curls to last. But the thing is, I do completely agree with people who also comment on that video to say, it is a lot of faff um, for a 500 pound piece of equipment. Like you shouldn't have to put that much effort into making that piece of equipment work. So in all honesty, like my opinion on the Dyson Air app, for my hair, because it really does work differently for different people, um, love the straightening attachments with the curls like attachments, they're not really great for me. Anyway, I feel like I'm at the wit's end when curling my hair because the thing is, although I do that method with the Dyson, there's still this element of frizziness that still lingers and also with humidity and using that Dyson to curl my hair, like it's just not a great mix. Like it, it just goes so puffy and I think you can even see it in certain videos. Whenever I'm editing, I'm just like, oh, the hair could be better. So anyway, I've actually just picked up really cheap. I got it on Vinted because um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I actually picked up a hair curler. So this is from Babyliss. This is their soft ways, loose movement. Um, I have no clue what this is going to be like. I'm not planning on curling my hair like weekly. So I will keep the heat to a minimum. But you know, for the times when I do put effort into curling my hair, I want to see if this just gives me a better outcome. So yeah, this is going to be a good tester run because basically I'm going to take these to France um, because I don't want to keep lugging my Dyson back and forward every time I go visit my mum. So I thought, well, I'll try these out, take these over there and this will be my like hair tool if I need something just to make my hair look a bit more presentable. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's the plan. Okay guys, it's now Sunday and I'm about to head off to the airport and go to France. So I thought I'd just end off this vlog here and we'll start a new one. I did try out the hair curlers. Um, you can kind of see what they look like right now. I need to practice. I actually did get a burn, if you can see that. But yeah, I burnt my neck the first time I tried using them. Need to get the hang of it. It's definitely, I don't know, it feels very different than just using like a regular curling wand like when you're using that clamp it really does throw me off i'm gonna end it off here and i'll speak to you guys when i'm in france bye